Okay, tonight I'm making a whole chicken in the crock pot, and my friend Wendy taught me this little trick, which I can't believe I didn't know about. I'm so excited. I'm putting some foil balls here so the chicken can rest on it so the bottom doesn't get all like soggy and goopy. Um, and I'm going to put a spice rub on the chicken. I have um, salt, lemon pepper, garlic powder, oregano, and rosemary in here. Alright, so I just popped the lid on and I'm going to cook this on high for about six hours. Alright guys, there's dinner. We've got some rolls left over from Easter that were in the freezer. Some baked potatoes with cheese, butter, and bacon on it. Some stuffing from a box mix that I had down in my pantry. The chicken we cooked in the crock pot and some broccoli salad. Oh, and little pickles because I'm weird and I have to have them when I have chicken. Okay guys, here's what's for dinner tonight. It's a chicken alfredo bacon pizza. Um, I used the chicken leftover from last night. I will link the recipe video where I did this before down below. It is not a diet recipe, but it is so delicious. Yum. All right, there's dinner, the chicken Alfredo pizza and some vegetables from my freezer. Okay, I've got some bacon cooking tonight. I'm gonna attempt to make some kind of cabbage vegetable soup. Okay, I've got my um, bacon cooked and out of the pan. Now I'm going to add in um, one cut up onion and like four little cut up carrots. And also some of the celery that we cut up and froze because we accidentally left some celery in the car in the dead of winter, so that's going in too. So these veggies are just gonna kinda cook around in the bacon fat for a couple minutes until they start to soften. And in the meantime, I'm going to add some spices. I'm gonna start with probably about a half teaspoon of dried oregano, a pinch of celery seed, a tablespoon of dried chives, a pinch of dried rosemary, then about a tablespoon of caraway seeds. All right, now I'm gonna add a couple cloves of minced garlic here and just stir that around for a minute. Now I'm going to add in some southern style hash browns that I had left over from um, Thanksgiving. This is about a pound or so of this. Along with probably about two tablespoons of uh, tomato paste. Okay, now I'm going to add about a half a cup of white wine and deglaze the pan. And I'm going to stir that around until it evaporates. Okay, now I'm adding what I had left over from a big can of tomatoes. It's about one can, no normal can worth of diced tomatoes I'm putting in. And four cups of chicken broth. Now I'm going to stir in about half a teaspoon of sugar. A couple good shakes of Worcester sauce. Some freshly ground black pepper. Probably more than anyone else would add. We happen to love black pepper. <laughs> now I added two and a half cups of cut up cabbage and then I'm going to bring this up to a boil, put the lid on it, turn it down to a simmer and cook it for about a half hour. Oops, forgot to tell you, I'm also gonna add my crumbled bacon in before I put the lid on. You guys, I wanted to add real quick, I got the inspiration for a cabbage soup from um, Melissa, who's been emailing back and forth about recipes and grocery lists and stuff. Hi, Melissa. Anyways, um, I got the idea from seeing hers because she sent me pictures of her cabbage soup and it just looked so good. All right, here's dinner tonight. I've got my homemade beans, refried beans that I make in the crock pot, and chicken breasts that I put in with just some um, taco seasoning and a little bit of ranch dressing in the crock pot for a couple of hours and then I actually ended up I made it a while ago and froze it and then defrosted it to make this because we're having nachos so there's just cheese salsa the beans and the chicken and a little bit of ranch dressing with taco seasoning drizzled on top and then we'll serve it with a little extra salsa and sour cream and that's dinner okay I've got some olive oil heated up here and I'm going to add some carrots and onions I'm gonna make some soup today to the carrots and onions, I'm going to add, um, I'm not sure how much this is, probably about a half a teaspoon or so of dried oregano, about a fourth teaspoon of dried thyme, and then about a fourth teaspoon of dried rosemary, and a little salt and pepper. And I'm just going to saute this for a couple minutes until they start to soften. Okay, the next step is totally optional. You can use chicken broth instead of what I'm going to use. I'm going to use um, some wine, probably about half a cup, to deblaze the pan. But you can use chicken broth in place of this and it just won't be quite as tangy. And I'm just going to stir that around for a minute or two and just let the rest of the liquid um, evaporate. And because I didn't have any celery on hand at this point, I'm also going to add in some celery seed. 
Okay, now I'm going to add in four cups of chicken broth, but you could also use vegetable broth in this. Next, I'm going to add half of this big can of diced tomatoes. A can of dry rinsed cannellini beans. One fairly big zucchini chopped. A little handful of um, chopped up fresh green beans. And then just a little pinch of sugar. I find whenever I'm working with canned tomatoes, it's nice to add a little bit of sugar. It takes away from that real um, metallic taste that it can have. Just going to let this come up to kind of a boil, like a simmer. Then I'm going to cover it, reduce the heat to low, and just let it sit for about mm, half an hour or so. Alright, after it's done um, simmering, you just kind of want to taste it. Make sure that you've got enough salt or, you know, flavoring in there. And then I'm going to add in um, a bunch of kale that I just chopped up. And I have like this random handful of pasta that I don't have anything else to do with. So I'm just going to throw this in here too. I'm going to cover it and cook it like another 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so I grated in about um, a little less than a fourth cup of um, Parmesan cheese. And now I'm going to add about a tablespoon or so of lemon juice and then it's all done okay here's dinner Eric's taking a picture <laughs> um, we have a vegetable soup and some homemade bread with butter okay tonight we're going with an easy peasy dinner as I'm working through the stuff that's in our freezer we've got turkey burgers here and corn and some mac and cheese 